Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to a calm but chilly morning. Uh, I am today at Cromford Canal. Uh, this is my first trip out of 2021. First. Uh, I'm only a few miles from home, so I'm not really breaking the uh, lockdown rules. This is my exercise. I am local, so I'm keeping it good. Uh, and I am, as I said, I'm at Cromford Canal, which was a part of the heart of the Industrial Revolution. Now, as you can see, I have got this bridge. I also have that, the Cambo 4x5. So uh, yes, this is my first outing with the Cambo. So at the moment I'm looking to see, can you see the colour of the sky down here? Let me show you. But the problem is, I've loaded black and white so you won't even see that. But it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So the other part of using this is I'm trying to do it correct and make notes so that I know what I captured. So, ooh, pen's frozen. Uh, so my F stop on those two shots was F22, and it was a shutter of three seconds. But the first one, number one, I probably did about two seconds. So I'm going to put two seconds. Uh, my notes on this one was it was just an ambient, I can't spell ambient, <laughs> ambient reading. And that was for both. So do that. Second one was the same aperture at F22, but that was three seconds. So slide number one was 22 and two seconds and slide two is 22 and three seconds so now I know when I get back my there should be a slight variant in exposure settings of the the two two um, negatives and I'll be able to work out which one I got right that's the theory So I'm going to take the photo of the suspension of this, this carriage. I just like it. It's industrial, it's old, ye olde world kind of stuff. I just really enjoy that kind of look. And I think the 4x5 will do it justice. Um, so the meter reading is sort of between one and a half and two seconds, which is going to give me a three to four second uh, shot based on reciprocity failure. So. I think I'm going to do two shots again. I'm going to do one at three and one at four. Hedge my bets a bit. See how that goes. So 
So frame number three is F45. The reason I'm not showing you this is my handwriting is absolutely atrocious. So yeah, you're not seeing this. Uh, so the first number three was three seconds. Ambient again. Um, I don't think I did anything different on that. No. Frame four was also F45 for four seconds, but I went portrait. Crazy, eh? <laughs> so that leaves me number five and number six. And that is for the engine house. Engine house? No, it's a boat house just up here. So back home now and I've developed the film. Uh, I developed it with um, R09 Rodin or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've got six successful negatives. I'm very happy with the results. Uh, to get six for me out of this, that's good. Um, so let's go through some of the shots. So the first one is the bridge. Uh, composition of this, poor. Um, yeah, I could have done better with this, much better. Um, I invested a lot of time he at this location trying to find a shot. What I should have done is, when I realised I couldn't find the shot I wanted, was just move on. Pack up, move on, rather than wasting two, two um, sheets of film. Um, but I think I just because it was the first time I've taken the cambo out. I think I just wanted to get a shot in the bag, as it were. And I didn't, yeah, I didn't really concentrate enough. I concentrated on everything else except framing the shot properly. Um, not quite sure why or whatever I did wrong here, but it's happened. Uh, detail wise, the shot's absolutely fine. <laughs> the technicalities of the shot, I'm happy with, uh, it's just the rest of it that um, has let me down. But, hey ho, it's a shot. It half works, it half doesn't. I don't mind. Don't mind at all. Uh, the next shot is the suspension of the train carriage at the uh, high peak thing, whatever it was. Um, yeah, this has come out exactly as I, I thought. I actually thought I was, or had, a tighter crop than this. Um, the thing I'm trying to get used to between using this and any other camera is your viewfinder. Now, obviously, you've got to have a loop and move around the entire screen to see everything 
you need to you can kind of see it but with this one i just only see like a highlight in the middle i have to really get in on the loop to see the edges um so yeah i thought i was tighter because i think I, I concentrated more on the detail in the middle through the loop and the, the ground glass but i'm still happy with that if i was to re-edit it maybe make it a square or even just a 16 by 9 would work but i'm really happy come out how I saw it how I imagined it would so can't complain and then the third shot uh, this has come out how I saw it I'm over the moon with this shot I really I, I'm, I'm pleased you know it's it's not perfect but for what I saw and what I wanted to capture this is exactly what that is so I'm, I'm really really pleased um, I have edited it just slightly. Um, I could see that there was still texture in the sky on the, the, the negative, but when I scanned it with my camera, so I, I digitized my 4x5s using my Lumix G9 with its high resolution mode, and it kind of didn't quite get the exposure evenly across the whole sheet of film. So I was able to, I was still able to pull down the sky, but I've had to do it digitally. Um, only the same as what you do in a dark room. So I'm not manipulating it beyond the normal realms. It's just, it needed a little enhancement just to make it pop a little more. So it's just a bit of contrast. Drag in those highlights with a bit of a, it would only be the same as uh, doing a burn. So that's all I've done really. Um, but <laughs> aside from that, I'm really, 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 really happy with what I managed to get out of this on this trip. Um, it is a beast to lug around. It's not easy. It could come down into a smaller package, I think, if I was to dismantle it. Not sure. Not sure how well that would work, but that's something for future. Yay, eBay. Uh, that's something for future trips. So that's it from this week. I had a great time out, my first trip out of the year. Um, so nice mentally just to be outside. So good. It's just that one trip is just like a weight off my shoulders. It really has, really, really, really needed it. So that'll do. Thank you as always for watching. If this is your first time here, please do click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified as to when I upload a new video. I greatly appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. Not only does it help the channel, it makes me happy. That's all that matters. And I will see you guys in the next video. Do take care.